day, dear students. This is Bukubayeva Zhanna Bukubayevna from Kazakh University of Technology and Business. Welcome to my lesson. So today we are going to talk about past perfect tense. So if you are ready, let's start. First of all, uh, before talking about past perfect tense, let's revise all the verb tenses. Simple present, simple past, simple future, present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, present progressive, past progressive, future progressive, present perfect progressive, past perfect progressive, future perfect progressive. So this lesson we're going to talk about past perfect tense. In making a past perfect statement, we follow the pattern subject plus had plus main verb in past participle. We use past perfect to talk about things that had happened before another action in the past. So look at the examples. She had been my friend before she transferred to another school. In this sentence, there are two events that have happened in the past. Let's try to break them down. This will be the present or the moment of the speaking and two past events. The first past event is, she was my friend. The second one, she transferred to another school. But since we talk about events that happened before another event, then we talk about this. This is now our past perfect. That's why we resolved to the sentence, she had been my friend before she transferred to another school. The word before indicates that something happened before another. Ben is the past participle of the verb was. Another example, grandpa had lived in this house before he decided to sell it the two Past events in this sentence are Grandpa lived in this house and he decided to sell it. Grandpa lived in this house is our past perfect. That is why our sentences Grandpa had lived in this house before he decided to sell it. So next example. By the time his mom arrived home, he had already fallen asleep. In this sentence, although the event that with mom arrived from comes first, it is understandable that he fell asleep first and his mom arrived home after. The last example, I had had a baby before I entered college. You might be wondering why there are two hats in this sentence. Let's try to break this sentence down again. The present and two past events. The first is I had a baby. Second past event, I entered the college. I had a baby is our past perfect because it happened before I entered college. Had is a main verb. Its past participle is still the same. Had, so when we change it into past perfect, it will become I had had a baby. I plus had plus another had, it is a main verb. Making a negative sentence is just simple. We only change that had into hadn't or had not. So the pattern will be subject plus hadn't plus verb in the past participle. Examples. She had been my friend before she transferred to another school. She hadn't been my friend before she transferred to another school. 
Grandpa had lived in this house before he decided to sell it. Grandpa hadn't lived in this house before he decided to sell it. For the question, the pattern is had plus subject plus verb in the past participle. So examples, she had been my friend before she transferred to another school. Had she been my friend before she trans transferred to another school? Grandpa had lived in this house before he decided to sell it. If it is question, had grandpa lived in this house before he decided to sell it? This is a question form of the sentence. Join the two past uh, simple sentence and make positive and negative statements and questions in past perfect. First sentence um, would be the first, uh, would be the past. And number one, um, Matthew studied music and he became famous. The correct positive statement should be, Matthew had studied music before be he became famous and uh, became famous. So uh, negative. Matthew hadn't studied music before he became famous. And the question, had Matthew studied music before he became famous? Second example, our teacher was angry. And the principal pacified her. The correct positive statement is our teacher had been angry before the principal pacified her. Negative sentence should be our teacher hadn't been angry before the principal pacified her. And the question is had our teacher had been angry before the principal pacified her? Next one, the meeting was already finished and by the time we arrived. The correct positive statement is the meeting had been finished by the time we arrived. Negative sentence, the meeting hadn't been finished by the time we arrived. And the question is, had the meeting been finished by the time we arrived? Next, the wind blew the papers away and he got them. Positive statement is, the wind had blown the papers away before he got them. Negative sen a sentence, the wind hadn't blown the papers away before he caught them. Question, had the wind blown the papers away before he caught them? Last sentence, Uncle Mike was gone and I was born. Positive statement, Uncle Mike had been gone before I was born. Negative statement is, Uncle Mike hadn't been gone before I was born. And the question is, had Uncle Mike gone before I was born? So, if it is understandable, it can be some, uh, some exercises uh, on your platform. So, if you have any questions, please uh, write me or we can discuss it on an online um, platform, online lessons. So, this is the end of our lesson today. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.